Welcome to Open Up, let's hear it straight from the internet. In a monumental moment for climate justice, the International Court of Justice has officially declared that climate change is a legal issue, not just a scientific or political one. For the first time ever, international law recognizes the obligation of every country to act on climate change, and failure to do so could bring legal consequences. This journey started decades ago, from early climate talks in the 70s to the Paris Agreement in 2015. But until now, most commitments were voluntary. Now, thanks to a coalition led by the small island nation of Vanuatu, the ICJ has given a powerful advisory opinion. Countries must take real action to protect the planet and their citizens or be held accountable in international courts. Why is this historic? Because it affirms that every person has the human right to a clean and sustainable environment. It also opens the door for affected communities to sue governments or companies for environmental destruction caused by emissions. The ruling doesn't just name the problem, it redefines responsibility. Rich nations and major polluters can no longer hide behind political excuses. The ICJ has laid down the legal path forward. What comes next? Expect a surge in climate lawsuits. Governments may scramble to update their laws and reduce emissions. And more importantly, those who suffer from climate disasters, from flooded coastlines to crop failures, can now seek justice. This isn't just about law, it's about survival. The world has spoken, the court has ruled, climate change is no longer optional to fight, it's a legal duty. Until next time, like this video, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube for more global insights. Stay tuned with Open Up.